Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, what customer states I have a coolant leak and perform a multi point inspection. Say no more, fam. We got you. Well, I can tell you this much we have confirmed that there is most definitely a coolant leak because the reservoir is bone dry. So, what are we going to do today? We're going to go through a cooling system pressure test and we're going to find the coolant leak. We know it's towards the back of the engine somewhere, but we have to pinpoint it. So what we're going to do is we're going to top off the reservoir with some fresh water. Not coolant because it's just going to piss out. So we top that off and we're going to pressurize the system to about 15 PSI. And we're going to see where it's coming out from. Very good guys. You know what comes next. Let's take it up top. Now that we have taken it up top, we're going to look around. And driver's side tire is 9.30 seconds, passenger side tire is 9.30 seconds. No abnormal wear or damage found to the front suspension, but yeah, we got ourselves a coolant leak. There's coolant everywhere. The pan is all wet in the back, giggity. So we can see thermostat and water pump area is dry, but back here is wet. And the only thing back here is the turbo. Yep, it's turbo is right there. Nothing wet on the front of the engine. It's all on the side here. But let's continue to look around. Axles are looking good. Shocks are looking good. This axle is looking good too. Exhaust is looking all right. Sleeve is holding very good. Shields, no rattles, very good. Rear suspension, yeah we got some corrosion going, we got some flavor, we got some big flavor chips going, but it's it's not that bad, It's we've seen worse. We have a lot of splash back from the coolant leak, Sus uh, axle's looking good, suspension is looking alright besides the minor flavor. Oh look at that, we got some, yep, we, we got some schmeg. We got leaking shocks, and that's, yep, both of them. Yep, both are leaking. We're going to have to recommend those in a four-wheel alignment. Rear tire, 9.30 seconds. Rear tire, 9.30 seconds. Rear brakes are roughly 8 millimeters. My calibrated, highly calibrated eye can tell. <clears throat> All right, now, let's, uh, front brakes. Oh, they're, they're brand new. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a fat 12 millimeter. Yep, we got 12 millimeter. Oh, we got some minor striations already. Do we have any noise? Nope. No, nope, there was probably a rock in there at one point. All right, guys, let's uh, get it back down and pressure test this cooling system and see where the leak is coming from. And I'll tell you what, man, I don't think we got to put any flour on it to find the wet spot this time. I think it's just going to piss right out. Okay, guys, here's the special tool that we are using. It's a Snap-on cooling system tester, model number SVT-S262C. I believe this is an older kit. It didn't come with the VW Audi attachment. I had to get that, but it came with a bunch of others. I know these are like Toyotas. Not really sure what that's from. Oh, it's from Mac. That's from Maco. That might be a different manufacturer. Not really sure, but we got the correct one on right now. And what we're going to do is, good rule of thumb, we're going to pressurize this to about 15 psi, as you can see. So we're going to pump this up and uh, we're going to see what's leaking. Oh, well, I already hear it. I don't even going to think we're going to get to. 15. Here it is. Definitely made a wet ass turbo. We got a, a pisser right there. Right in here. It's a little plastic guy that comes out of the head. Right, oh. There we go. There's the gusher. As you can see, the bubbles are right there. And you can probably hear it too. So we're going to recommend to replace that right there. Very good. And that's a pressure test, ladies and gentlemen. Usually what you want to do is 15 PSI. 
but in this case, it is found the least clearly. <laughs> right there. So now the best thing is, once we replace that, we fill the system, we bleed it, and we do a pressure test again to double check our work. Oh, look at that, I just noticed. Somebody's been here before. Oh, I do that too. But it wasn't me, but I could see they were all OEM coils, so that, that, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. So yeah, back, back to the pressure test. When you're doing the pressure test, after you do the repair, you want to do another pressure test to, for two reasons. To double check your work, and to see if the next weakest link is going to fail in the system. You never know. That might have been it right there, but once the system gets full pressure, something else might go. You never know. Alright guys, until then, that's how you do a pressure test. It's pretty much any cooling system. If you don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.